we're looking at the homeostasis of blood glucose levels, which basically means how the blood sugar levels are kept within the normal range. So the general relationship is that we have insulin, the hormone which will convert excess glucose into glycogen. Glycogen is the stored form of that. And then when the glucose levels are low, we can have glycogen being converted back to glucose by the hormone known as glucagon. Now learners often get confused by the terms glucose, glucagon and glycogen and the relationship between insulin and glucagon. So hopefully this video will clarify that and give you an easier way to remember the relationship between these. So if we take in sugar and lint, then what's going to happen is that there'll be a large amount of glucose, which will be then absorbed into our bloodstream. So obviously the glucose level then would be increased. So if you had a normal glucose level, because of the intake of sugars, the glucose level will then peak or spike. Now, in order for the body to regulate this, a high level of glucose can be harmful to the body. So what will happen is you took in sugar and glucose, so insulin would be made. And insulin then, which is released from the pancreas, will then convert the excess glucose molecules into a stored form of glucose, which is known as glycogen. So glycogen is a polysaccharide. And normally in the liver and the muscle cells, we're going to have the glucose being converted and stored as glycogen. And as a result, the glucose level will then decrease and it will go back to the normal range. However, the opposite happens when the glucose is all gone. So for example, a person hasn't eaten in a long while or they've been very physically active and a result of that would be that they would have burned up the glucose that they had within their bloodstream and we would find that the glucose level would then decrease. So from a normal glucose level, a high level of activity or a long period without food would then result in the glucose level dropping. Now, a lack of glucose would then prevent the process of cellular respiration to get energy for the cells. So we need to get some glucose. And though a person hasn't eaten to increase it, what the body does in that case is the glucose is all gone. So gluc uh, gone is released and the glucagon will change the stored glycogen in the liver and the muscles into glucose molecules. These glucose molecules will then be released into the blood and that will increase the blood glucose or sugar level back to the normal range. Right, so to remember that when you take in sugar and lint, you're going to find insulin being released. And when the glucose is all gone, glucagon is being released. And there'll be the conversion between glucose and glycogen. If you found this video helpful, please like or su subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comment section below. And we'll try our best to answer those for you. Good luck with your studies.